All eyes on the Trapatite Committee as Nigerian looks forward to what happens in the coming seven days. We've been told from uh, the meeting last night that um, the Trapatite Committee will meet every single day in the next week to be able to come up with a new figure. I'm joined now by the Director General, Michael Imodu National Institute for Labor Studies in Ilari, uh, Isa Remo. Mr. Remo, thank you for joining us on the news tonight. All through this conversation, the federal government has been talking about a minimum wage. But organized labor, on the other hand, is asking for a living wage. Do you think the Tripartite Committee will be able to reach a consensus in seven days? Well, thank you so much uh, for having me. And uh, to you, let me say good evening to all your viewers. Well, I think uh, both the living wage and minimum wage, they are not mutually exclusive. But the one we are deliberating upon, currently the point cannot be overstated that it's about the national minimum wage. And this is the sixth circle of this uh, kind of negotiation that has taken place in Nigeria. The first one started in 1981. Uh, we had a small review in 1990, stroke 1992 under the military. Of course, another major review in year 2000, uh, 2010, 2018 along that line. So this is the sixth national minimum wage negotiation. And it's very interesting to let you know that all major negotiations have taken place in a democracy. Uh, the, the, one, the one we had in 1992 was really not negotiated as such, typical of the military rule. So what we have at hand now is also celebration of democratic process. And I, yeah, we need to deepen democracy because democracy allows for freedom of association, freedom for unions to organize, to collectively bargain, including the right to go on strike as they've just done. So even as we are discussing this, I think we should know that this is the strength of democratic process. And I would like to appreciate the, you know, the statesmanship of the, the President Bola Tinobu to have intervened uh, to see the need for all the parties to return back to the negotiating table. You were Vice uh, President so um, to... of the Congress, uh, Mr. Remo, d during the Adams Oshimole yeah. tenure. I was just thinking about how you think the relationship between federal government and labor has evolved over the years, uh, particularly under this administration. Well, I think if you ask me, I mean, the relationship has been uh, very, very remarkable. Uh, it's full of contestation, but at the end of the day, it's, it ends up in cooperation. Don't forget that... Uh, uh, when uh, this administration removed subsidy uh, last year, there was a lot of contestation, you know, on the part of labor. Uh, later on, they had an agreement with the government. I think I remember October 2nd uh, agreement, 15-point agreement. And if you look at that agreement, for me, I've been in this uh, business for years. I can say that it's one of the most comprehensive uh, uh, agreement to ever, to ever been reached with any government. Uh, it talks of the need for presidential wage award, which has been done. Uh, it also talks of inauguration of National Minimum Wage Committee, which, of course, was also done. I think it was in, on January the 30th uh, that the Vice President on behalf of the President inaugurated the committee, and we're already having this negotiation. So I have no doubt in my mind that it has been characterized by policy contestation, which is very healthy as well as the cooperation at the end of the day. I mean, there will always be challenges between government and labor. Most of for President Bola Metinubu that has also demonstrated uh, the need to engage with labor. You know, he campaigned on the platform of uh, uh, not just minimum wage, but even uh, living wage. Yeah. You know, he repeated that during the last meeting, mm. and he will keep it to that. So all I want to say here in summary is that what we are witnessing now it's, it's, it's normal, it's characteristic of normal negotiation. But what is important is that all the parties must see the need to work together. This negotiation is taking place at a time of serious economic challenges. Uh, and I know all the parties are under stress. Workers, you know, the inflation has gone up. But also employers of labor also face the challenges. Government yeah. also have challenges of revenue. Mm. So what are we suggest for all the parties to work together in the condition of crisis like this? Absolutely, Mr. Rebo.
not a contestation. And I have no doubt that there will be good outcome from this negotiation, just like that has been done in the past. My former Vice President of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Isabel Ramon, thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 10. So, it's a pleasure. Thanks so much.